Chapter 39 The next morning, JV slipped out of bed before Steve woke. She pulled one of his shirts over her head and headed for the kitchen. She was making coffee when strong arms snaked around her waist. She jumped. I didn't mean to startle you, he said against her neck. I just wanted to see what you're up to. Making coffee. She continued what she was doing, despite the flip her stomach made as his breath feathered across her skin. He pressed against her from behind, and she felt his erection hard against her ass. I can see that. He slid one hand under the loose t-shirt and moved it upward along her belly to cup one bare breast. You sore this morning, he asked, his mouth barely leaving her neck. No. In that case, I thought I might see how you felt about morning sex. His day's growth of beard rubbing against her neck sent shivers through her body. She set the coffee pot aside and twisted her neck to rub her cheek against his. Sounds like it could be fun. His fingers found her nipple and teased it to a sensitive peak, as his teeth scraped along the bend where her neck met her shoulder. Heat pooled in her belly and she whimpered, pushing her hips back against his. Her hands fell to her sides, then she reached back and grabbed the sweats on either side of his hips, pulling him against her as she ground against him. Here or the bedroom, he asked against her skin. Her knees went weak. I don't know if I can wait.